Here are four reasons why I like trading with EAs over manually trading. Let's begin, guys. So, the first thing I like about why EAs or expert advisors, basically kind of like a trading robot, is because trading robots trade 24-7. They can trade cryptocurrency, they can trade Forex 24 hours a day, and yes, you can't always be in front of the charts, so that's a very good point why I love EAs. Second thing why I like EAs. Now, if you've been trading or if you're new to trading, some things happen when big market moves happen, up or down. You get emotional. You see your account balance jumping up to the moon. You're like, wow, I'm going to add more positions. Add, 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 and then you see a reverse and then knocks you out of position. Or vice versa, it keeps on going and you keep adding and adding. And, you know, this is unplanned, very emotional input into the trading. This, to me, I think long term is bad. So for me, EAs is a very systematic formula that will enter in based on market requirements or your formula requirements. So it can remove that emotional aspect of it. So you enter in, if X, Y, and Z happens, you enter in two positions, four positions, three positions, whatever it is, and it's calculated for target profit and it's calculated your risk. Also, I like EAs. When you're trading multiple currency pairs and multiple thing, uh, like multiple currency pairs like the yen, EAs can look at different currency pairs and times and manage those, manage time frames a lot better than what I can do manually. I used to do it manually all the time, and it was very difficult. So I'll give you a good example. So uh, I'll show you one of my uh, EAs I made uh, to uh, when I was transitioning from uh, manual slash uh, EA. I was right in the middle of going over. I made this controller called the Master Controller. Kind of interesting. Uh, let me move it over. So basically, guys, this thing made trading a lot more easier for me. So I'm on USDJQI at 15 minutes. Let's just go to the four hour or something like that. Okay, you get some perspective. Uh, zoom out right here. So on this chart, guys, so for me, when I was first getting into EAs and getting into programming, I was thinking like, okay, so how can I make sure it, uh, I can trade and have some control over it? I started, I made this right here. So if I want to enter the market, enter in a, like if I want to buy, I'll do a double buy. If I want to move a stop loss, like I would do stuff like this. And I got to a point where I'm like, I was getting to a point where I'm like, wow, you know, I'm already getting to a point where I'm trading a lot, a lot more active and I'm doing everything manually. I have to watch my trades. Setting it up with the EA can, you know, save you so much more time and you can look at different time frames. So right now I'm in the four hour on a buy and this may be a good position on the daily and the weekly too for a good pullback uh, zone. Also, like I can move target profit. So stuff like this. Like it was really helpful to do stuff like this, because uh, I can trade uh, manually, so make it look like it was a little bit easier for me. It's like the mid zone to break it down, and uh, it was difficult for me trading manually when it comes to managing times and other currencies. So that's why I like EAs, because you can do it automatically for me. So like right now, uh, I'm on the 15 minute, and I'm like, oh wow, the 15 minute. I'm doing two entries at 0 0.03 lots, lot size. I can reduce my stops stop loss and see remove stop loss and target profit okay so I can move mine like up I can move my uh, TP up 100 pips and like that's a good zone to exit my on a 15 minute so that's why I got I, I started transitioning over because I, I think can, uh, EA's expert advisors can do it better than I could manually and I can get my time back and focus more on programming so that's what I do more mainly I program something let it run in my demo account for 30 to 90 days. If it's, if it does good, has no issues, I run it on my live account. And usually after running it, I'll say about 10% go to my live account at best. Most have issues and that I find out during live and then I get rid of them and stuff like that. But this is how I used to trade guys. If, if you guys trade by EA or trade by manager, just let me know what do you guys prefer, EA, program probably does take a long time to learn but once you get the basics down you guys can like make a controller like this like i thought this was a good way to you know convert over from manual trading you know input manual trading add alerts this thing gives me alerts and stuff so this is one of my main controllers uh let me see remove all stop loss like i can delete close all trades stuff like that like this is it made trading kind of like a video game almost make it a little bit more entertaining uh, have you ever seen stuff like this? 
uh, I don't know if anyone else does like this, but this uh, I made this myself. Uh, you saw my other stuff that I program on the website or on the channel. Just check that stuff out. But I just giving you guys some thoughts about when you guys trade forex. Forex is not an easy thing. Try to make it as simple and less stressful as possible. Get to the position where you're transitioning from manual to uh, EA, like in the middle, or you can you can do both at the same time. And, or you guys can just do trade manual if you guys like that. Just let me know. Or you like 100% EA. I'm, 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 I lean more to the EA portion. And the, the currencies I don't have formulas yet for would be like some of the off pairs. But that's one downside to EAs. If you're if your currency if you don't have a formula for it, it might take a long time to program for those. Like uh, it takes me a long time to program a very good EA because I need at least a couple hundred trades just to make sure it passes. But, you know, guys, uh, that's just the video, guys. Just let me know what you guys thought about this. What you think, think about my controller. You think it's a good transition? I thought it was a good transition. It got me from, you know, going from uh, this to full-time trading on EAs. It's pretty, it's really nice to trade stuff like this. But just let me know what you guys' thoughts are, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.